kind of look a bit dark still, but I have to work with it. Um, All right. So um, as I said earlier on, um, I wanted to speak about um, Ayaktien. I do want to give you a piece of reason about Ayaktien. But we are going to see if it will um, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because this is something more important to talk about today. And I really want to talk about this kit that the um, PMP, People's National Party, tried to pull off and, you know, and the backlash way I think is going to come of it. And I think it, it, it already started. Yeah? So if you have not seen it, go and look at um, the skit from the People's National Party that they did at some rally or some meeting, yeah? One of the persons, the person that, um, one of the persons in that skit is somebody that I know very well, um, is actually my nephew's father, yeah. So somebody I know very well, he's, he's been trying for years to make a name for himself in the um, space. Um, you know, I met him years ago when Shanika Anderson got raped and killed. And um, I went to his his club. He had a go-go club on Mullines Road. And I went there to meet with him um, on, on, you know, matters concerning how we could, you know, create awareness, how we could bring the killer to justice or the killers to justice. Um, when I went there, I realized that it was somebody who totally looked in some clout. So I, you know, I think since then, I'm not one of his favorite persons. You know? And furthermore, when I went there, I saw the little girl's picture up in the go-go club and the strippers them dancing under her picture. And I, f I found it to be very, you know, disgusting. So I said my piece and I, you know, yeah. So that man that you see at the chain, you know, around his neck is actually somebody that I know very well. Yeah. So, if you have not seen it, go and watch it. Go and watch the um, the skit that the People's National Party tried to pull off. Now, in the skit, the brother was named Big Stone. Was seen wearing a chain. You know the chains like where the the the, um, the oppressor chained our ancestors in. This man named Stone had a chain around his neck. You see, and uh, next man from the People's National Party. Announced that Mr. Mark Golden will be the one to free the enslaved man because Mark Golden, you know, he was the one with the key to free us Jamaicans from slavery. Now, these people who are representing the country are supposed to be scholars. Yeah? And Mark Golden comes off as a decent human being. And that is one of the reasons why I'm totally shocked that Mark Golden will actually play a role in this. I thought he was a decent human being, educated human being, balanced human being. You see? I do, I'm not sure if he is the one to lead the party. 
because I really favored or favored Damian Crawford over everybody in the People's National Party. Right? Damian Crawford to me is more um, of a leader than everybody that I see over there. You see? So I, 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 I was shocked that Mr. Golden will actually play a role in this skit. And nobody saw that this was out of bad taste and this was disgusting. No. The average person may say, Oh, you man, a true man. The Jamaica Labour Party, Andrew Wolness, have we under slavery? Have we under bondage? Have we under captivity? That's what the average person is going to say. No? But the average person is not going to understand that you do not go in front of an audience and try to get political points of slavery. You do not go in front of an audience or in front of the world and try to score political points of slavery. It's just like you would not act like you're raping a girl. You wouldn't act like Oh, Andrew Wilness is raping the country. So let's act like a girl is getting raped. You want to do that? Or would you? Or if you're going to say that it is okay for a man to put a chain around his neck and pretend as if he's a slave. So Mark Golden can free him. That means you're telling me that if we think that Andrew Wilness is raping the country of the, of the riches, of the wealth, of all these things. That means it is okay for someone to go up there and act as if a... Um, they're raping a girl. But you see, so many of us as African star, we're uneducated. That's one I think we are beat with. Because the thousands of people who are there cheering and rejoicing and celebrating and laughing, you don't even realize that this is out of that such bad taste. It's tasteless. It's disgusting. These are moments that trigger the things that we have seen that happened to our ancestors. Chains and shackles and them things here. Reenacting those moments to score political points should not be the case. In no matter if we don't want to say, Andrew Wilness, have we under bandage? You don't use our atrocities to score political points, Mr. Golden. And you are a person that I thought you were more balanced. And I'm going to tell you why I am deeply offended. Right? I'm so offended because you, Mr. Golden, you have to be very careful how you do these things because guess what now? You're forcing me now to go pull up your father. I said, but wait. No, Mr. Golden, father this. The white man. Me no want to pull up your father and look upon you like yo. And then Mr. Golden, why might think when he might do this? Knowing that your father is a white man. Based on his you know, physical appearance. I don't want to do that. But you, you lead me now for your think now. And I say, Mr. Golden, I don't like that. I don't like that, Mr. Golding. You make, me, you make me have to go pull up and, and, and read up on your father now and say if your father and his father and his father were plantation owners. Is this, is this, uh, this you, you see how far? Because somebody know me say I take it too far. But look which part you make me have to take it. Look which part you make my mind gone. You make my mind gone as a person no way. You know me do my research on them things. You send me no go research. I say, wonder if you have the blood. You see me, I say, you are a fat person, Mr. Golden. You have to be very careful of doing that, brother. You have to be very, you can't do that, Mr. Golden. You cannot do that, Mr. Golden. And I think, this is, this, this is how I know, say, Jamaican people gone to the dogs, you know. This is how I know, say, we lose everything, you know. This is how I know, say, we forget our history as Jamaican people. It's black people in our world, but Jamaican people. We totally forget our history. And you see, anybody will forget them past, bound to repeat all of the things that will happen. We forget our history. So that is the reason why some of you can they jump up and rail up and rejoice for somebody doing that. It is not funny. It is not supposed to be used as a skit. 
to score political points. Slavery was no joke. Slavery is not something we come act out in other manner, dear Mr. Golden. It's disgusting. It's one of the most disgusting things we ever see. Somebody try act out on stage in front of this, in other climate there. In other, in other atmosphere, in other environment, environment there. You're not supposed to have bring that in this, so Mr. Golding. There are, are some, let me tell you something. The PMP party gone to the dogs. The PMP party gone to the dogs. Michael Manley turning I'm grave. Let me say that again. Michael Manley turning I'm grave. This see where we want to come to. You see, you see. If I were to be a politician, you know where that be my party? Of choice, the People's National Party. Because me is a man with research, Mr. Michael Manley. And we can dig up and we can say, yo, that go on and that go on and that go on. But me is a man research Michael Manley. I me that pick Michael Manley over Edward Siaga any day. Every day. I would pick Michael Manley over Edward Siaga. So if I were to enter politics, I would definitely be a part of the People's National Party, but not the People's National Party. Yeah. Not this People's National Party. We don't have no message. Andrew Wilness are run lap around you. There are so many things going on in the country where we're supposed to dip a message and look what we're going to do now. Distraction. Mr. Golden, you're boring. You are whosoever tried or something, they're boring. It's not getting forward. Boring. Only not supposed to come with fanatics now. At this point, when people are look at Mr. Andrew Wellness and not like where Madwa, enough people not like where Andrew Wellness are going with. Enough people. Andrew Wellness know this too. Because enough things we see are happening. You, know. you see? Enough things we see are happening. You know. But you don't have no message. Case in point. Mr. DJ Kentucky put up a thing where the police them and said them don't need no warrant or nothing for search him. And Jamaican people don't even know say the law they pass. That is now something where police can do. Police can just run up on you and say, Let me search your vehicle. And them now if you have no warrant, you can't refuse. And if you refuse, it's a crime. That a woman no say oh no no have nothing near message. Oh no deal with fanatics. Oh no deal with some gimmicks. Oh no deal with some clown thing. The People's National Party. Oh no oh no make Andrew Wilson run lap round. Oh no. That is you see you see dear man Crawford. Dear man Crawford is a youth. Is, him not perfect, you know. Because, as a matter of fact, Damien Crawford should have out pan this long time. From, from this drop, Damien Crawford should have out pan the battlefront pan this and I denounce this from long time. Damien Crawford, you're late. You are late in denouncing this. Lisa Hannah, you are late in denouncing this. You are late. Uno late. Uno not supposed to make a little singer youth a come talk about this before Uno. I like you idiot artist come talk about this before Uno. Uno, black. Let's give Lisa an a pass because I don't know if she's black. Based on how them tell you, say people, black people look. But you, Mr. Damien Crawford, yeah. And I apologize if I should not have said that. But you don't know how so society stay. They look upon some people like them different from we. Is what I say? But Damien Crawford, yeah, man, you're a straight Negro brother. This is not supposed to fly past 24 hours or 12 hours and you don't address it yet, brother. Because we don't look and say, boy, come like a have to come fix the party. You're late. Mr. Golden should have been in his office right now, writing his resignation speech. For disrespecting black people the way how oh, to disrespect black people right now. I want to make Andrew Wilness run around on again and gone with the election again. Because if I were in politics and campaigning, 
me a ride this till the wheels and drop off because of politics go everybody i try to get one up on somebody but this was out of bad taste i want to give them ammunition now for use again so you know. even if somebody disingenuous they might still use it and you can't tell a man when i'm at maybe next time i feel genuinely offended that you know use something for trigger what happened to us in slavery Can you blame them? You can't see Nesta heart. You can't see Andrew Wilness heart. Maybe them genuinely offended. But you don't give them ammunition. So you, Mr. M Mr. Golden, you should have been writing a resignation speech right now. Facts. But because Jamaican people them stand for nothing. That is the reason why I want to treat them so. And that is the reason why they're not going to ever like me. Because I'm going to tell you the truth, Jamaican people. You don't stand for nothing. You don't have no value anymore. Michael Manley would have never. Michael Manley would have never. Place a chain around an African neck. And talk about say. That man de, Rary have the key. And I me have the key for free him. Because Michael Manley would have bloody well know say a few ancestors them be depressed with. Him the bloody well know say yo that I go bring back moments that I go bring back some things that we don't want even bring up right now. We don't want to bring up slavery, but two them the things say oh a two Negro. So because a two Negro compete for, 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 for political power, one of the Negroes them can do it. No 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 no. Want to we the people? Want to we? Certain things in the use make joke or run skit. Some things where people traumatized by. Jamaican people, them still traumatized. They not even realize that they traumatized. It's just not for we I suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. So we love we oppress as them. And we will kill. We will kill a Negro for our oppressors. Still. To this day. A man who see me right now and lick me in my mouth for you talk about this. Because of Stockholm Syndrome. So I pity them. That is the reason why so many people were there jumping up and rejoicing. Who should I get a loud boo for that? And Stone walking around the stage with the chain. Walking around with the chain. Snapping the chain. Snapping the chain. Snapping the chain. And then turn around and give you Mr. Mark Golden a hug. And the two of them embrace. Because I don't think I scored some political points. That was disgusting. The way... Mr. Golden, I would love to really ask you face to face how you felt when you saw Stone walking around the stage snapping that chain. How you felt? I really want to know how you did feel. Knowing that people already had set in at the meet, people already are saying at the political space, you know. I call your names like Massa and them something there, you know, Mr. Golden. People are calling you Massa and them thing there, and you go, Mr. Golden, come on, man. You must know better than that, General. People are calling you Massa, and you go take a chain off a Negro neck. I run off a run with stone and the fool fool something, and stay a message. And that you do. Look how much things that you look how much things that you want to talk about. You know why? You not look forward. You are not trying to make the country a better place. You are not trying that. I know that you not about. You don't want to be popular. The problem is, you know, you are not trying to be as popular as Andrew Wilness. And that's a problem. Because Andrew Golden is popular. So when I try to make Mr. Mark Golden be a popular person, a likable person, a favorite among the Jamaican people, them, that is the problem. So when I try to win over the people, I try to win her forward and think that this is going to go viral. Yes, it's going to go viral. Maybe it's going to go viral because you have to understand that Jamaican people, them, this is not a problem to enough of them, you know. 
When me a talk about right now, you know, this is like, yo, Vegas, you chat too much, you reach. You chat too much, man, you overdo it. You don't, uh, that is it, you know. So, you know, maybe get away with it, you know. So, at the end of the day, me maybe just talk to a few people, you know. So, you know, maybe get away with it. Yeah. Because I see them Jamaicans, them. They tell out Marcus Garvey, according to history. I can't do it, they say. I mean, what them they sell me out? Sean Boy 27 said, Bro, God sell out. You see? The limited mind. The small mindedness. The simple mind, man. You see? Because you are going to counter the argument now if you say, Bro, God sell we out. So that's why you agree now, it seems, with. Putting chains round a man's neck and pretend as if this is slavery. So we're reenacting slavery for score political points because bro God sell we out. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. When you expect the country to make a 360 turn around if the PMP take over? Huh? Politics is a system. The government of Jamaica operate, is operated by a system. You see, uno no understanding, uno think say, this is something where a show say, one of the party a world with inner oppression and the next party in our world with inner oppression. This is a system. This is a system. They all have to meet with them. Head of the system. Head of the state. When them win. Or when them take over. Things are in place to conduct business as usual. That are the mistake on I make. That I want to misguide it. That I want to understand about politics, Virgin. That I want to understand. When I see the PMP, they have a message that said they violate the Constitution for just can search you anywhere they want. You know, see the PMP out there and message about that? Hmm? So many things there to speak about. You know, hear the PMP out about it? The little youth will come and say, I try to make changes. What do they do? Damian Crawford. When he come and say, education, what happened? Them kick him out. When him go down to Portland and say, him a compete, what happened? So that is the reason why we are telling us that them can't use what happened to the oppressors them for score no political points. And that we are trying to tell you. So you can't accept it, we not accept it, or me not accept it. You see? Because there is no way you would see in American politics somebody reenact the Holocaust for political points. You will not see that. You will not see a politician dress up like Hitler and pretending to running to, to be running a concentration camp. You would not see that. But you see, because of the lack of education, Virgin, I mean, I talk people who just go to school and get a degree. I mean, I talk about people who do them research and people who know them history. You will not see somebody run them type of joke there with the Jews them and the Holocaust. You will not see it. No politician not take that chance there. 
And this is a problem with we as black people. When a few of we stand up and stand for something, we are some idiots out there that deflect. Where you deflect about? Where you tell me about what Andrew Wilness are doing? When this is what we're supposed to attack about? No. Deal with Andrew Wilness and when the PMP supposed to point out and go against what Andrew Wilness are doing, if we don't say the PMP is for us. Coming with this type of dramatic foolishness here is rubbish. Is this is 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 this pickable? You can't do this. And Natty Dread is asking, so America is the standard by which we are judged. That means that uh, you as a Natty Dread agree with a man who come out. Dress up in a chains and shackles. You see problem? And you call yourself a Dread. You want to trim. For score political points. You see that? That are the problem. We don't have no value, we don't have no standard. Because we have people like Uno. We're alright with them things here. So in other words, you're saying, ah, make we go, make we go American standard. Is it okay to say because somebody a rape the land of the resources? Is it okay to pretend as if somebody's raping a woman? Okay, bring a woman on the stage. Pretend as if you're raping her. She crying out. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Rrr, rrr. And somebody would have a tear for her clothes. Is that something you would do? Because we want proof, say, somebody. And we make somebody come out, come save her. If you say, yo, I'm saving her. You know, things that that's a trigger moment. You know, things that that's going to bring back some things with some woman go through. That's our problem. We don't forget our history. So on the bound to repeat the, 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 the things them. We put you in a slavery. We put you in the position where we into. We put you in a the, 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 the poverty where we into. Because we don't have no sense. You would not act out a woman getting raped. Because there are millions of women who are going to be triggered by that. So you know, act out slavery in our political atmosphere for score political points. So it's people like Uno Mekala man like Mark Golden with a lead way. And to lead a country, you need better judgment. And that was poor leadership from Mark Golden. And you can always come and say, yo, next time friend and him and him and a P and my JLP. All of that you can bring come. But you never ever can defend that man action. Putting a Negro in chains and shackles and pretending as if he's freeing the Negro from slavery. That's how you can't argue. You have to try to deflect. You're going to try and deflect to make it sound as if I am politicizing this. Because that is the only thing you can do. You cannot argue why a man would do that. It shows poor leadership skills. It shows that Mark Golden is a follower, not a leader. And he needs to step down and make a youth like Damian Crawford lead. A little young youth with fresh mind. Educated youth. That you don't need to know. It's time to turn over the party to a young youth, a fresh youth, fresh ideas. We're willing to take chance on education and lose him seat. Mr. Golden for step down. Him not have no message. Him a follower. 
No leader no do that. No leader no go do that. Him just, the little man up on the stage, a cheery man, a cheery man, and him just walk out with a key. He just walk out with a key like one like a poor thing, and I try to pull the chain from around the man. Just think about just go back and look at it, no man. Just go back and look at it, no man. Oh, a white man, Pitney, I try to pull the chain from around the negro neck. Just go back and look at it. It no look good. Mr. Golden, that no look good. Foot type them now go see nothing wrong with that because them a deal with politics. So them now go come out and come make up no noise. And say you fit step down and make my dear's lead. You know have no message, general. You look like one little fallara when you make the man that upon the stage a cheer you under something there. And a basically bring you. To do something like that. Just go back and look, Mr. Go Mr. Golden. Oh, you look. Pulling the chain from around the Negro neck. It don't look good. Anybody are telling you otherwise? That is not a good moment in history, brother. That is, in your whole political career, this may be one of your weakest moment <laughs> may not think it will go over well brother right now you are a liability Mr. Golden you are a liability I can't tell you that if you think you're going to win this election see if you think you're going to win the election yeah. see with a skit there well, we need a wake up call. Black people need a real wake up call. But, we don't put nothing past them. You see? We don't put anything past them. Because with them black people here, yeah, anything possible. Yeah, man. Then we come, come celebrate with you too. Can't saw them still. See? So, me go and look and see what I go and feed. Hope we don't get one and look for it. If I win no one win the election, may this bring you lots of success and joy and victory and a victory lap and 20 years serving. But I don't think it's going to work. I think so this is your worst political move ever. Worst political move ever. Ever. Yeah. And the Negro with the pan stage, the two Negro with the pan stage that cheer this on. We don't need a book on slavery. You, Mr. Politician, man, we are jump up like you are preach. You need a book on slavery. You see? And you, Mr. Stone, you need a book on slavery. Big up on yourself.